In this lesson, we're going to carve this golf ball here, and many people don't know that golf balls can be carved. Um, some golf balls do have rubber bands on the inside, inside the shell. After you get through that shell, there's rubber bands, and you can't carve those because the rubber bands start ex expanding, and, uh, and you just can't carve that. But some of uh, some golf balls have a solid core like this, and it's, it's a rubbery material. Um, that can be carved pretty easily. Flexcut, one of the um, a major carving brand, uh, they came out with a set of Scorps, uh, Scorp set. And I purchased these. These are right-handed for me. They make them in left-handed as well, because if I was left-handed, the blade would be backwards. But these operate very similarly to a palm chisel that they make as well, uh, you know, with a different different shape as well. But uh, these are, are nice because they carve like a... They use, you use them like a knife, but they uh, they act like a palm chisel because of their shape. To start start out carving, I already have this notched out so it can be attached to a bottle stopper, but uh, I always like to start out any of my carvings with a center line down through the middle so, so I can keep myself uh, organized. So center line and then I'm going to draw a rough area where we're going to do the eyes. Now this lesson does take more than just a knife. We're going to use a series of different gouges. If you have them available, you, and that's great. If not, uh, you're going to need to get some or use what you have and just make do. So that's going to be my eye line. And then I'm going to come down right about here. That's going to be the bottom of my nose. That's the edge of the nose. Edge of the nose. Kind of the top of the nose. You don't actually draw or cut the lines. These are just general markings for me to keep on track of where I go. These little eyebrows there and there. And this guy, we're going to give him a, uh, a T going into the mouth again, but it'll be sticking out kind of like a, a cigar. Basic lip line. And that's where we're going to put that golf T. And that's about all of the sketching I'll do on this for now. With my thumb guard on, I'm going to start carving this golf ball. And uh, I'm going to use the gradual U-shape here uh, to kind of carve out these eye sockets. And you must have your thumb guard on for this. Otherwise, your tool will poke through uh, or you know, cut your thumb wide open. I'm going to turn the ball upside down. Carve out the other eye socket. And these are not going to be highly detailed faces. They're, they're caricatures, so some funny features of them is okay. You can see that I got some good voids going on here. One thing with uh, with carving faces, even though it's a caricature, you kind of want to give some semblance to to realism. And so we're gonna carve out a little void right around there, looking at the profile straight down from this view. What that'll do is kind of create the bridge of the nose and give me more of a forehead. Deepen the eye socket as well. And you can see here how the eye socket's getting welled out. What I'm going to do is flip it upside down like this and carve the nose that way. And so I'm going to lay it down so I have a good grip on it, holding it in my palm, because it's a palm chisel. It doesn't always have to go directly into your palm like that. You can hold it any which way to make it most comfortable and safe. And so I'm going to flip it upside down, and you can see the angle there. Just kind of stab in, move my hand out of the way so I don't have an accidental slip, and kind of just rock it in and make a stop cut. I technically don't need my thumb guard on because I'm not doing a pairing cut, uh, so I'm keep on stabbing in. I'll take the same chisel, and that's my stop cut. I'm going to carve back toward it. I'm holding it in my hand just like that. That's how it's comfortable. I'm going to flip it back over. And repeat the stop cut again. 
you may have to do this in several sets. This particular golf ball material is a little bit harder than usual. Good thing to make your make sure your tools are sharp. And you can start to see the profile on the side of that nose. I'm gonna come back to the other side, flip the ball over, and do the same thing. And the symmetry, finding symmetry on the nose, it does take time. So if this is your first time trying to carve one of these and the nose is lopsided, just chalk it up for experience or call it a caricature because that's what it is. It doesn't really matter. I keep on deepening my stop cut here. Come back to the other side, kind of match it up, get some symmetry going. So after you've carved the side this way and flipped it over and did this way, I'm going to come back and flip it upside down again and carve that part of the nose. Do a stab cut right there and then come back on that side. A very similar stab cut on both sides of the nostrils. And pop out the chip. I'm going to deepen these and shape them the way I like them. Make sure you have control of your tool. If it slips, you know where it's going. And then right underneath the nose right there, I'm going to go as centered as possible for me and make another stab cut. Just like that, right underneath of his nose. Keep on shaping the way I like it. And I'm going to take a little bit right here to kind of create the tip of a nose. And this guy's a nice little nose on him now. You can always go back and deepen and deepen. One thing you got to be careful of with carving faces is you don't want to undercut. Undercut is if I carve underneath there and made uh, an undercut and I carve too much, that limits me on how much, how deep I can go then. Next, I'm going to take my pencil mark and remark kind of what's called a laugh line. I'm going to redraw that. And then I'm going to grab either a V chisel or the V scorp. Uh, either way, it's still a V chisel, but the convenience of having it in the scorp set is what makes it valuable to me. So I'm going to start at the bottom here on this side and just cut out my line all the way up to right there on the nose. And repeat on this side. Just like that. So it kind of gives them a little bit of a, a laughing face on either side. Next, I'm going to take the and start carving some of this area down and press back or suppress the, the mouth area from the rest of the cheeks. Uh, and so I'm going to take my knife and just start carving off a little bit of the area using a paring cut. Make sure you have your thumb gird on. Make sure you recently have stropped and sharpened your knife. We'll redraw the, the mouth back on. But the goal here is just to get rid of some of the material and shape the face a little bit more. You do a little bit of a push cut. I'm gonna pushing with my thumb like this on my left hand side here. And I'm not pushing the blade, uh, the actual cutting side of the blade, it's just the back of the blade, it's flat. It's safe to do that. And I'm actually going to go back and deepen these laugh lines a little bit more. So I'm going to take the knife and do a linear stop cut around that curve. And flip it over and do a paring cut back to it to pop out the chip. I 
gives me a little bit deeper laugh line. Same thing over here. I'm gonna deepen that stop cut. Come back and do a pairing cut. And pop out the chips. I'm going to go back and actually also deepen these nostrils as well. So I'm going to continue with another stab cut here with the chisel and pop out that chip and, and deepen that a little bit more on the side. It's all personal preference. I'm just tinkering. Shape that laugh line, not so sharp. Okay, now we're ready to cut in the mouth. I draw the mouth. The uh, They call it a cupid's bow because of the shape of the lip, but I'm going to make it a little more gradual than that. And a little bit more of a smirk. And I'm going to put the golf tee cigar right there. And then that's all we really need to do. So that center, that the pencil line is our center line. And so how we shape the lips will depend on which tool we use. So I'm going to start out using the V tool. And since this is a caricature, it's okay to use a V tool for shaping lips. But typically on a realistic face, you wouldn't use a V tool. You'd use a, a set of chisels and knives to do that. But we're just going to part the, the lips, up, you know, apart with the V tool here. Go a little bit deeper. The deeper we are, the thicker the lips will get. And keep on going. And you can start to see a little bit of a mouth there. And next, I'm going to take another U tool. This one right here. It's very similar to one in the scorp, but I want the long handle on it. I'm going to press in right at the corner of the mouth and start creating the hole for the golf tee. Take off my thumb guard. Don't need that right now. Just be careful of slippage. You don't want to run one of these chisels into your any of your fingers or your hand. Just gonna keep on spinning it like this. And that kind of creates a somewhat of a drilled hole. You can always go back and drill it with an actual drill bit and drill, but I'm just doing it right now with the actual chisel. And I might be able to break that off. Just like that. So now it's just a little bit shorter than it was before. I don't actually need the tip on there since we did a pre-drilled hole. But essentially that's what the, the end result will be. And we'll deepen that hole with a drill later. But I just piloted or started the hole with the chisel. So with that in mind, next thing we can do is uh, and shape the carve lips. off a little bit on the tip of that lip. Just like that. It'll give me a much bolder lower lip, and we'll shape it uh, more in a, just a minute. And then one of the important parts here on the, the lip stage is on the upper lip, I'm going to take one of our U chisels and carve right up to the base of that nose. And that gives it that, you know, what you typically see on a, on a human face, right there on the upper lip, that shape. And then I'm gonna take another flat chisel. And I'm gonna put this here, a little bit smaller one, easier to control. And right around the corner of the mouth there. And on this side. The point of doing this is just to give it a more of a full lip. Now you can see up here, it's really, if it's, it's kind of puffy. So I'm going to go back on the other side and relieve some of that area there. Give me a sharper lip. This 
Same thing right there. And you see those lips taking shape. Now on the lower lip, how you really define the lower lip like we did with the top, is you come underneath of it with another U-shaped tool to relieve out that area. So I'm going to go back to my one of my original scorps and underneath of it right there, kind of carve underneath, and carve up to the lower lip. So that really makes that lip bulge. Where you can start having some fun with this is you can take your knife and right in the corners of the mouth, which what we're going to do is I'm going to put my thumb guard back on and kind of make another stop cut right in the middle. Let me zoom in for you. Right here. Kind of turn it down just like that. It's kind of hard to see because the, the, it heals itself in a golf ball. But then you make the stop cut, pop out the chip, and you're left with kind of a little of a smirky mouth right there in the corner. Just like that. And I'm actually going to continue the stop cut all the way across the lip and it'll really make it stand out. Making a linear stop cut. Now to finish off the lower lip, we still have that this part right here that we have to reshape some. So I'm going to go back in with a knife and reshape that lip some the way I want it. On this particular golf ball, I'm going to give him some uh, some eyebrows. So right at the peak here, I'm just going to draw out right along that ridge, uh, you know, a little space just like that, a little area for an eyebrow. Also on this side. And then I'm going to use my V-tool, my thumb guard on. Use my uh, Scorp V-tool. And just carve right next to it. And it'll separate the areas of the rest of the golf ball, which is the forehead, from the rest of the face, giving it an eyebrow. Just like that. When we carve the, the eyes in a golf ball, we can get really detail oriented, but I find that simplicity looks better on these. So I'm just gonna draw a little slit like that. Almost makes him look like he's sleeping. And then corner of the eye here, you wanna drag out this way, and the corner here, drag out this way. So I'm gonna take my thumb guard, my knife on, or thumb guard on, and take the V tool and just carve out a small slit like that on both sides. Now it's kind of hard to see, so we'll go back with the knife and really deepen the cut and it'll give it a shadow. So taking the knife, making a stop cut, coming back and removing the chip. Just like that. And again on this side. Try to make them even. From here you could take 220 sandpaper, knock off some of the sharper edges. Um,